Hello everyone. I'm going to walk you through the first step on our PHP project and that is going to be to set up your files for your template for our registration and login system. Um, I have already created the first page. Um, again, I think you just have to create like you would a, an HTML page. Um, I'm saving this as index.php, but I'm going to start breaking it apart. So let's take a look here at what I have. Uh, again, this is just index.php. I've got what you would imagine a regular HTML page. There's nothing PHP in here at this point. Um, I have my, doc, my HTML document structure and I have a style sheet embedded in here directly, but you're welcome to pull that out into its own separate file. And then within the body, I very simple, I have a header with a navigation with three links. I have a main section with a little bit of text in it. And then I have a footer with the copyright and my name in it. And again, this is all just a placeholder. I encourage you to create a theme and kind of build your site around that. But for the purpose of what we're doing here today, I just wanted to do something real quick. Okay, so I have this page and what I want to do is I want to pull out some of the pieces of this web page so that I can use the include function in PHP. That way I don't have to have all of this content, all of this code on every single one of my pages. So this main section here is going to be the section that's going to change on all of these pages. So for example, if I was to go to register, I'd still want to have the same information on the top, the same information on the bottom, the same style of the website, but the middle section, the main content is going to be different. It's going to show a registration form. And same thing with login. When I click on login, I want to show a login form. Now, is this how to build a website? No, typically we would just have that that on included in on one page like they do on Facebook and things like that. But for the purpose of understanding how includes work and how to kind of use a template uh, page for your website, that's why we're doing this. Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to create two files. So I'm going to go into my code editor and I'm going to create this first file which is going to be called header.php. Make sure to save this as a PHP file. And for right now, I'm going to leave it empty. I'm going to create another new file and I'm going to save that as footer.php. Okay, so in my header.php, I want to basically include everything in this page. Now, how you do this is up to you, okay? So if I want, I'm just going to take the entire thing because I'm going to put this header on every single one of my pages. I'm just going to bring it all the way down from the top line of my document structure to header. I'm going to control X to remove it and control V to paste it in here. So again, this header.php is going to be at the, included in every single one of my pages. You might want to do it a little different. You might want to just have, you know, the document structure, pull in your style sheet and just have header.php be this part. Uh, that's fine too, however you want to do it. So I'm going to save that. And then for my footer section, I'm going to do the same exact thing, but I'm going to grab everything from footer down and paste that in here. Now, if you want to get real picky, you can go ahead and fix your tabs if you want to. Okay, so I have my header and my footer, and now my index, all it has in here is this main. So once I save that and reload my page, all you're going to see 
is that H1 and H2. You're not bringing any of the style in. You're not seeing the header and footer. So what I want to do here is I want this page to become my template. And the way I'm going to do that is I am going to create a line of PHP that says include header.php. Okay. And again, I'm going to fix my tabs up here. And I'm going to do the same exact thing down in the bottom, but for footer. Okay, so once I have that saved, now when I reload this page, it looks exactly the same. So from here, I want to build out, I want to use this as like the template for my other pages here, register and login. And I'm going to just save these, save index.php as register.php, spell it correctly. Okay, so now it's saved as register.php, my index.php is closed, so I'm going to save it one more time. And this is going to be login.php. Okay, now I have the login.php up. You'll see that all of these um, files exist. I can pull them all up, Lo login, I can pull up index, and I can pull up, pull up register. So they're all, there's three files there, and they are all pulling in the same thing. So now, because if you look at my header section, I have already coded my links to index, register, and login. This should work, okay? So here we go, I click and it all works. Now, where do we go from here? So from this point, we're going to start building out our actual content for register and login. We'll go ahead and stop right here. And in the next video, I'll show you how to build out those forms and include those in here. Thanks. Bye.